I'm Chief Meteorologist Jacqueline Bennett in the Cron 4 Weather Center with this forecast update. It's been partly to mostly cloudy out there today, but rain is on the way, so we're going to continue to see increasing clouds out there this afternoon. This is a live look outside from the Bay Bridge Toll Plaza. Another live look outside from the San Mateo Bridge. You can see some of the sun breaks here. But as I mentioned, the clouds are just offshore as that rain is set to move in tonight. Temperatures this afternoon have been in the 60s through much of the Bay Area. It's in the upper 50s, though, at the coast. 59 also in Hayward, 65 in San Francisco, 66 in Antioch, and 64 in San Jose at this hour. So tonight, the rain will move into the Bay Area this evening, and it will spread south overnight. For your Thursday, we'll have rain mainly in the morning and then clearing into the afternoon, but there is a slight chance of a lingering isolated shower into the afternoon as well. So we're going to be dry this weekend for the most part, but as we look ahead to next week, rain looks like it will return. More on that in just a moment. First, let's take a look at what we're expecting tonight. Again, clouds have been increasing, especially through the North Bay. We're looking offshore now, and you can see the core of the storm here. Here's the tail end of it. The cold front is all the way back here, and that's going to move into the Bay Area again as we head into tomorrow morning. We'll see a few isolated showers through the North Bay this evening. This is the 9 o'clock hour, and then here comes the main band of rain. At 10, it's at the coast. By midnight, we're seeing rain through the North Bay, the East Bay, also in San Francisco. The rain continues to move through the rest of the Bay Area through the morning hours. You'll notice it's a little bit more spotty as we head into the 5 o'clock hour, but the rain impacting the South Bay. We'll continue to see those showers through 7 o'clock and even through 10 o'clock, but you notice that the coverage is kind of decreasing at this hour. We'll start to see clearer conditions as we head into the afternoon, but you'll also see a few spotty showers kind of here and there up in the North Bay into the 3 o'clock hour. Rainfall totals with the system not going to be all that impressive. In fact, we're not going to see a whole lot in the East Bay or the South Bay. But in the North Bay, we could see up to a third of an inch of rain. That's mainly for the coastal hills. Same thing down in the Santa Cruz Mountains. We can see up to a half of an inch of rain there. Just the higher elevation will be favored for a little bit more rain with this system. Temperatures tomorrow out the door quite mild because of the cloud cover and the rain. We'll see temperatures in the 50s Bay Area wide, almost in the 60s in Richmond, San Francisco and Hayward. 53 in San Jose, 51 in Livermore. Into the afternoon, we're looking at 60s once again. Upper 60s in a number of places, including Napa, San Mateo, Sunnyvale, Concord, and in Fairfields. 64 in San Francisco, 63 in Half Moon Bay. As for the Sierra, looks like the system coming in is not going to bring a whole lot of cold air with it. So we're mainly going to see rain out there tonight into tomorrow and then drier conditions into Friday and Saturday. So taking a look at your extended forecast, we have that rain out there this evening into tomorrow morning, drier by the afternoon, dry Friday, and actually it should stay dry through much of the weekend. There is a storm that will approach the Bay Area into Saturday evening, but it looks like it's going to drive well up to the north and miss us almost in Entirely. We could see a little bit of rain in the North Bay, but right now it doesn't look very favorable. Next week, though, a series of storms approaching the coastline by Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday could bring us some more rainfall. Again, right now, kind of iffy because the computer models keep going back and forth, whether it's going to hit us or miss us to the north. So we'll keep you posted on that as it gets closer.